All right, everyone, welcome to Drawing Time. And today, I'm going to focus on hands. Now, hands are one of the things that most people who draw kind of dread when it comes to drawing characters. Hands are not very complicated. They just take more time because you always have to pay attention to the boniness of it. We all have knuckles. We all have fingers, and we both have hands, but nobody feels like drawing them. Now, I will show you one way I draw them, and then there's another suggestion from another book. So, <clears throat> go ahead and have your hand, and get ready to draw. So, one way how I draw hands, and I'm going to try to darken as much as possible, is using shapes. Now, I like to use something similar to a trapezoid. And then using ovals to determine the thumb first. Sometimes I will actually use, because a thumb does have one joint. I'll sometimes make that joint and then try to flesh it out with some ovals. All right, now to make the fingers, I would always start with the boniness. So, you know, you already have your knuckles. And then you have your first joint. Now they're not always straight, but you know, everybody's hands is a little different. Then I'll go ahead make a line and hit the next joint. It's usually easier to do the middle finger first and then work on the sides. Because the middle finger is actually the tallest and basically helps with the rest of the perspective. And okay. Really and truly, that one, this one is a little close to that point than the other one. And then you have this one that's kind of like way down here. Then finally, don't forget, there is still another joint. And again, I would strongly suggest going for the middle finger first. I don't know why I started there. <laughs> because it has to follow through with the middle finger. And... Join as close to here on this finger than the other finger here. And you know, this one is kind of far down. So now when you got your joints in, you can go ahead and flesh it out with some ovals. And usually it's easy to forget, but remember you still have that one small hump at the end. And remember... Sometimes it's best to use ovals. You can use other shapes as well. I know one place use squares. I like circles and ovals. For some reason my fingers is weirdly curved. <laughs> some odd reason. I don't know why. Some people say I have piano fingers. Oh. <laughs> Right, and it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the basics of the hand and understand it. And that's basically, I think, that's most people's fears. Like, they don't understand that they're the joints of the hand. And sometimes, you know, fleshing it out takes its time. Now, the other way that I know that I've seen in books a couple of times is using the it's similar to a cube, but it's not. So you have this method where you actually use a shape. And then your other shapes could be like cones. That can actually work too. I've done this method a couple of times. And it it doesn't really um, 
it does help. I'm just doing a freestyle hand at the moment. And then you have your circle joints. It's kind of like a mannequin. And you have your other joint. You still have to follow the joints. If you don't uh, follow the joints, like my art teacher says, you'll be making sausage fingers. I don't know, it looks like a broken <laughs> it looks like a broken mannequin at the moment. This is what happens when you try to draw too fast. But you can still get the same uh the same result using the mannequin method with circles, um circles, cones, and ovals and a rectangular cube for a hand. All right. Now with this method, you can actually do a cartoony one, but remember when you do cartoons, you still gotta remember that fingers do have those joints. So you always gotta keep the joints in there. All right, and that's it for the lesson on hands. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment and I'll try to answer it as soon as possible, all right? I hope y'all enjoy this time strong time. Bye.